Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, I'm Professor Simpleton and today I'm going to be explaining how to edit most Blender templates. So first you'll download your template, uh, I'm going to be using remote uh, GFX's template because he sent this to me and actually asked me to do this tutorial. Um, so we're going to open this up and we're going to have a look, is this what we want? That's the one we want. Everything should be packed so you should have the song and everything. There we go. So it's really, really easy to edit. All you need to do is just right click on the text to select it, press tab to go into like edit mode, delete it all, and type in your name. So I'm going to type in simpleton. I suggest doing it all in caps, and then you need to select the text behind it by right clicking on it as well and typing in exactly the same thing. Simpleton, and there we go. That's basically it. Now I think this text is a little bit too big, so I'm going to select both of them. I'm just going to scale it down a bit until I think it looks alright. And that looks fine to me, so I'm going to watch this now. And there we go, it looks great. That's exactly what I want. Uh, I'm not sure if you can change the colour. You cannot change the colour as far as I can tell because I haven't really edited this template before. Um, so I think that's it. And then all you have to do is go to your render tab, scroll down to the bottom and find, where is it, output. And change this to, well actually I think this is all set up. Okay, this is all set up to um, render. All you have to do is just go to um, like a folder that you have. So you can go to like a blender, just create a new folder and just call it render go into render, call it render, accept, and then just hit animation and this will go through and start rendering the frames for you. So you'll see it will do like that and then add all of the smoke and particles and then it should composite them together and you'll see in a second. Okay, well it hasn't shown me properly. But yeah, um, so you just let this go through and that should work for you. And that's basically it. Once you're done you'll get a little output file uh, in this place that you specified and that output file will have all of your frames and the final video of the intro and it will look good so thanks for watching this was just a really short tutorial explaining how to do that um, so yeah hopefully I'll see you another time goodbye